Hi, Susan here. It's t-shirt weather finally, yay. And I've decided after the popularity I've had with my digital PDF downloadable sloper sets that I was going to put together this digital pattern for you of my designer t-shirt so that you can cut and sew this t-shirt and make it your own. I'm gonna explain it all and that's what's next. Guys, I want to say why a t-shirt well I am known for my patterns and I want to go slowly and get more complicated with my designs and have patterns available for all of you guys to be able to download print and make on your own I thought this would be a very good transition from the sloper sets to make your own t-shirt it is a great pattern it is one of my top designs patterns that I've had in my company. I'm going to do a three-part series and this first one is going to explain how to find it, how to buy it, how to print it, and assemble this PDF file so that you can have this pattern for you at your home computer. I'm going to have it both in the USA 8.5 by 11 paper size as well as the A4 for Europe and other countries. This is going to be a three-part series. This is going to be the first video where I'm going to talk about how to find the PDF file, how to print it and assemble it. And then I'm going to talk about how to cut the pattern out with the fabric on the second video. And the third video will be how to assemble or sew this t-shirt design so that you can learn step by step everything you need to know about this PDF digital file. So let's get started okay guys step one is to go to my website which is eliascouture.com it'll look like this and on the top bar you're going to see store and etsy you can go to etsy if you prefer otherwise you can just click on store and it is the last item listed and that's the t-shirt design pdf form of the pattern you can click on it and then you have to go through the steps of purchasing it. I cannot purchase it for myself, so um, you can just purchase and follow the directions as far as giving your email address and other information to get it. And then you'll have access to the PDF file. And it'll look like this. It'll be 24 pages. Like I said, I have it in, I'm gonna have it in both the eight and a half by 11 USA printing format, as well as the A4 format. This is the eight and a half by 11 format. You want to, on your computer, go to file and print. You wanna make sure that it is a 100% down here and that there is no scaling and then you want to hit print and you'll get the 24 pages okay here it is let's get on the flat and explain the next step it'll be 24 pages including the top page with the instructions and information let me go through that first this pattern consists of a front t-shirt pattern, a back t-shirt pattern, a back bottom t-shirt pattern, sleeve pattern, and neck band. This is printed, this particular one is printed in the eight and a half by 11 inch paper, the USA with no scaling. They'll have one for the A4 as well for Europe and other countries. The pattern is for women sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. I actually have the sizing chart printed here so you can see my measurements. You cannot go by anybody else's measurements. These are my measurements for my pattern. See which ones are closest to your size and you can adjust it accordingly. There is designer ease on this pattern. The pattern has been graded in a one and a half inch grade with a little less at the sleeve and armhole because it already has ample amounts. There's a one inch wearing ease so that you can move with this garment. It is not a sloper. This is a designer pattern. So it has designer ease. The pattern is made for 100% cotton 
jersey, which is what I have here. Do not use a woven fabric on this. It must be a jersey. It must be a stretch. But if you use spandex, it will affect the size that you have. For instance, if you use a ton of spandex on your fabric that your extra small might even feel more like a small. If that makes sense, you might have to make adjustments accordingly. This pattern was designed for 100% cotton jersey that has the, just the basic stretch of a cotton jersey. If you want to customize the size, you can pick a variety of sizes. So you can then, if you're uh, small in the bust, but you're really a medium in the hips, you can adjust it and go from line to line accordingly. The pages will be numbered. I tried to make it as easy as possible, guys. I have a layout here so that each piece has its own little layout, so it's not this big massive pattern that can get messed up. So it took a little bit longer to put it together, but I tried to make it as easy as possible for you. The layout is here for each pattern piece, so to speak. And now I'm gonna show you on the fly how to put this together. You will need a clear plastic ruler, my 18 by two inch uh, clear plastic ruler. I'll put this Amazon link in the description box. You will need tape and you will need paper scissors. All right, the first pattern piece, like I said, the layout is all here, is six pieces. So they're all numbered and you can see page one and etc. And it's going to be six pages and it's two across. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me show you on the table how to put it together. The very first thing to check is I'm gonna have a box here. It says after print, check this, that it is exactly three inches. So I'm gonna take my clear plastic ruler and I'm gonna check that it's three inches. If it is less or more, the scaling of the printing was wrong. All right, now when you print anything, there's always a little space that is not going to print on any printer. So that's where the overlapping takes place. There'll be a little L and little teeny brackets that you're gonna to have to line up. For the first two, I'm gonna actually, this little L is going to line up with that little L right there on top. So just gonna be just a little bit of an overlap like that. And once I get it right, you can just put a small tape. You don't wanna tape it all the way across yet. You're gonna check it here that that little line matches up with this one so that you can have it as well. You can see that the line will continue. Those are the first two pages. Then you wanna overlap here again with that little mark, meaning that one and this little L overlapping that little L, just like that. A quick tape, just a small tape to hold it down so that you can adjust it if it needs it. And continue doing that. That little L is lining up with this little L. As you can see, that little L there is lining up. And then you just put a little tape there and a little tape here. Last piece on this one, overlap. And just match the L's like that. This one probably has to go further down this way. And this is where the ruler comes in handy. You can check to make sure that your lines that you're matching are all straight, and that is, so then I know that I overlap that properly there as well as there. This is the last piece of this section, overlapping it. And making sure that it overlaps, that this little slit or L or line matches that line and then overlap it. You can check to see if other lines are also straight, your center lines are straight. And that is the first piece. Once you feel that it is right, then you can add tape wherever you need to, to secure it further before you cut this out. Let's do the next one.
Now that that's all done, let's do the last section. The last section is the back bottom piece, the sleeve, and the neck band, two across, four down, just like the layout 16 through 23. And you do the same process putting this together. The last thing to check before you cut out your pattern are these lines. So you can know the different variations of lines mean different sizes and different things. The solid one with arrows is a grain line. The extra small has this variation of lines. Small has that variation. Medium has that one. Large is this one. And extra large is a solid line without arrows. It will also be in color if you have a color printer. Mine is just black. And I'm going to be cutting out the medium this time just to try that out. So the medium is this line. So the extra small is that line. This would be then the small line and this would be the medium line right here. And I'm going to start cutting on that line so you can see what I'm, what I'm doing. I'm going to find that line again, which is this one right here. And continue the cutting process. Being very careful to find that grayish line and the right length. Add a little bit more tape here. Some lines will blend into one main line. That's fine. Just follow the lines. I will do that to all the pieces and I'll be right back. Here are all the pieces. Forgot to mention, there is a half of an inch seam allowance on all of the pattern pieces except for the neckband and neckline, which is a quarter of an inch here, as well as the ends. All right, guys, there it is. The pattern is now cut and ready for the next video where I'm gonna show you how to lay it out on the fabric and cut it and sew this designer t-shirt. So get on board if you're not already a subscriber. I hope that you will be. Give this a thumbs up and let's get on the next video where I show you how to cut and sew this. So get on board and get your PDF downloadable, printable designer t-shirt pattern on my website or Etsy today so you'll be ready for the next video. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. <music>